This is Scott Bauer, and another day, another record. S&P, NASDAQ, all go, both go to new records. I should say the Dow was down on the day. Uh, the Dow dropped, uh, but the S&P, it's up 50% since the March 23rd low. And there were some rallies in the marketplace here uh, with the new additions and subtractions in the Dow. Amgen, uh, Salesforce, Honeywell, all rallied. Raytheon, Exxon, and Pfizer all being removed out of the Dow. Apple was actually down today for the first time in a week, but Amazon, Facebook, Google, all rallied to help propel that NASDAQ. Earlier today, we got some very mixed economic data. Huge new home sales surge, but consumer confidence falls again. The reading actually fell to about 84 or so from what was expected, which was 93. Now, later in the week, Thursday, we're gonna get the virtual Jackson Hole Conference and all eyes are gonna be on Jerome Powell and the Fed. And we'll see what happens there. And also today, maybe helping the markets a little bit was some news coming out of the, the US-China talks that maybe some tension was easing. Yesterday, ES option data, 416,000 options traded, 69% on the put side. Volume leaders were the September 2,900 put, 4,900 of those traded. The end of week four, so end of this week, August 2,950 put, 4,100 of those traded. The end of the month, month, August 2350 put 4,000 of those traded and the end of week four, August 3450 call up above 3,900 of those traded. ES options pricing in a move to the end of the week of about $40. Bitcoin, wow, the bears seem to be back right now. Big decline down to about 11,300, which is a significant support point now for Bitcoin. Had, be, had been significant resistance, that is now going to be significant support. And a huge volume day at the CME, Bitcoin futures trading about 15,000 contracts. Now, on Monday, the CME is going to begin micro e-mini futures uh, options on micro e-mini futures on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 indices. So that will start next Monday.